I really love this meme to the point where I'm going to use it as a thumbnail. It has been decided. So, apparently rumors are that Donald Trump is going to come back in Twitter and Facebook. Which is very interesting because, yes, Facebook, uh, they have the Supreme Council of Facebook, right? It's like the Supreme Court. Uh, clearly a legit organization and not just a marketing campaign. And what the Supreme Court of Facebook does, uh, it has power to overwrite Facebook decisions. Isn't that beautiful? Right? So I, as a company, know that I'm making decisions that are so dumb that people are going to hate them. So I now create a council and, and then I can say, well, you know, even the council agreed with our decisions. But in this situation, the council actually didn't agree with Facebook uh, to the point where they kind of like didn't agree or disagree. They said, yeah, but like Trump didn't violate any TOS and... A suspension for a lifetime isn't justified, so we recommend that Facebook refix. And Facebook was like, okay, well, maybe in two years. And two years are up, so now Trump is going to be back on Facebook as well. Which means that uh, there's going to be less pressure from the activists on Twitter. Because Twitter can say, well, Facebook did it. I mean, uh... So uh, the, the interesting thing is that Elon Musk is saying that uh, how is the Biden administration going to react to this? They may try to weaponize the Fed against Twitter. And this is a really good way to rile up the fan base because uh, now if the feds are going to be riled up against the Twitter, regardless of reason, he can say, well, it's because I brought Donald Trump back. This is political. I'm being persecuted, which is exactly how you want to run the agit prop. It's exactly where you want to be. Uh, personally, I do think that the feds are being rallied against Twitter even before all of this. Like they're probably figuring out ways on how to get at um, the new leadership. Because they, they don't really enjoy having a social media that's out of line. But um, what's more fascinating is that if you go here and you click and you're going to see a lot of left-wing people react and right-wing people react. Overwhelmingly, no one disagrees that the feds are going to be against Twitter. Like even the left, right? Surely there are some people that call it, ah, oh, you're paranoid, blah, blah, blah. But those are like a very fringe minority. Like overwhelmingly, people on the left are saying, yes, and that's a good thing. So this is where Elon Musk has taken these people from, oh, it's a private company, it can do whatever it wants, to, yes, the government will censor you, and that's a good thing. It's beautiful, isn't it? I mean, I, I can't help but enjoy it. I have screenshots and everything, and, you know, in the future, when they're going to say, oh, well, it's not, censor it's not cancel culture, it's just people showing you the door. You're literally asking for the government, right, to crack down on Twitter because Donald Trump would be allowed to have an account. Now, that may not be the case, but you are accepting the premise if you're one of those blue check marks that I have seen there. You're accepting the premise that, yes, the feds are going to go after this company for political reasons, and you're like, it's a, it's a good thing. Interesting, you know, because like at one point, I do expect that the Republicans are going to be in power, and when they are going to start censoring, I'm going to just show the screenshots. I'm just going, you know what? I, I, I'm not an expert. I don't know politics. But, like, look, this person that's a journalist at this public case, he knows po Look, he's saying it's a good thing. Ah. Let me know what you guys think, though. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.